I'm Jennifer Sness here watching News 24 Live. It's Friday and as always we are going to talk you through the top search terms on Google. I'm joined in studio by my co-hosts Jerusha Sukhthiorath and Nick Parson. Hello. Hello. Morning guys. Now let's get, ladies. let's get right into that first term. Taylor Swift was trending on Google this week as she launched her music video for Bad Blood. Now that launched on Sunday night at the Billboard Music Awards and within 24 hours had 20 point one million views that broke the Vivo record. You know, Nicki Minaj held that record for Anaconda, but now Taylor Swift has it and I love her. I adore her. I think I know the 1989 album from start to finish. It's amazing. I just dance around my house <laughs> and listen to Taylor Swift. Do you and have an opinion? I'm not really a fan. Is she bigger than Britney? Yes. Thank well, will it's she be not, bigger than Britney? It's not the early 2000s. <laughs> well, that's what I know about pop music, sorry. <laughs> now I just have to mention before we go into our second topic that so many Hollywood A-listers were in this video. Cindy Crawford, Jessica Alba, Lena Dunham. I mean, hands down, best music video of the year. Sorry, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jerusha, moving into e-tolls, that was a trending topic on Google this, this week. Tell us why. Well, it seems that Joburg motorists are up in arms and they're saying that even though Deputy President Saul Ramaphosa has cut down some of the e-toll tariffs, it's not enough. Ramaphosa announced that e-toll tariffs will be now 30 cents a kilometer and the cap is just over 200 rand, down from just over 400 rand. But here's the kicker. If you have outstanding e-toll bills, you're going to have to pay them or they're not going to issue you with a new license disc. Sneaky. They do this in Canada. It's not sneaky, they're telling you. This Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Jen was, book. Yeah, Jen yeah. was the one who said before cameras rolled that she would pay her e-tolls. Oh, look who's talking. You also said you would pay. It's true. Nick? What's happening to e-tolls in the Western Cape? Well, they're apparently in the works, so we can't be smug for too much longer. Yeah. All right, Nick Celsi so. was trending on Google this week. Tell us why. Yes, so cellular network provider Celsi last week made an announcement that they will be assisting customers with up to 10,000 Rand to buy themselves out of their current contracts with other cellular network providers, one of which Vodacom has brushed this aside as merely a marketing gimmick. Sounds so like a marketing gimmick. Everybody's been searching Celsi this week because everybody wants to get in on this um, amazing offer, mm -hmm. but it sounds a little bit far fetched in my opinion. Are either no. of you guys with Celsi? No. I'm not. No. Love-hate relationship with Vodacom. All right. Sorry, I think Vodacom. South Africans have a love-hate relationship with any of with their service providers, to be yes, honest. Yes, it's true. I can get on board with that. This Canadian agrees with you too, South African. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jerusha, moving on to Danny Jordan. He was one of the top search terms this week. Let us know why. Well, it seems to be a move, at least this is what some people are saying, to kind of pander either votes or, you know, happiness among voters in Port Elizabeth. Danny Jordan. The um, SAFA president has been named mayor and he's going to be sworn in next week. He says that he can continue his work at SAFA as SAFA president and be the mayor of Port Elizabeth. Jen, do you think he can do it? Sounds like a lot of work. It does. It, I don't know. I think he's, he's talking a lot of game. Now, mm. Nick's going to yell at me, so. but I think that if he was a woman, he could do it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Well, we don't have to go there, but uh, I think it's, um, it is an interesting transition from a sort of football administrator to a city mayor. But I mean, he was part of the local organizing committee for the World Cup. So mm -hmm. he obviously does have the sort of right, right background for city planning, I guess, or yeah. whatever. It's important to note at this point, though, that this particular municipality or the area is really dogged down by maladministration, running out of money. They need to get their infrastructure sorted out. So we'll see what your dad can do. Time will tell, time will tell. Nick, moving on to Bob Hewitt. Yes, this week, former professional tennis player Bob Hewitt was sentenced to six years in jail for two counts of rape and one of sexual assault. Minors that he coached in the 80s, the sexual assault in the 90s. He's applied for and been granted bail pending an appeal which will take place in June. So he's currently under house arrest. Mm. Sure. I this think case has been going on for a while, as yeah. we know. Um, and arguments, you know, 75 uh, is the sort of jail sentence a bit harsh. I think not. Six years, I mean, yeah. I, I don't think Anything it's harsh but, at all. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Moving on to Big Brother Mzanzi. Now, all you South Africans were searching for the two winners, Ace and Tombi. They, of course, went home with two million rand, which is a nice chunk of change considering they started the show unemployed. Now, these two have said they're going to give back to their communities and, and buy a house, which is a cute little story. Mm. 
Now, the runners-up, K2 and Blue, I don't know, have you guys been following the show? Not at all. Okay. okay. K2 and Blue, they had like a really strong uh, fan base. It's like, they're like the Jay-Z and Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these people really love them. Um, it's Channel 24 reported that their fans have started a Facebook page uh, raising funds for the couple because they think they were cheated out of the money. So, uh, is this an underprivileged couple? Do they need the money? I think there are a lot of other people in this country who probably could use that money mm -hmm. in, in better ways. How bizarre. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> and moving on to our last search term, Steven Gerrard. Yes, long-serving Liverpool captain Steven Gerrard plays his final game for the club this weekend against Stoke City. He's played for Liverpool 710 times. Many arguing the best Liverpool player of all time is off to LA Galaxy, where of course David Beckham plied his trade for a while. It's really popular for these um, UK stars to move over to America. Is it because of the money? What's yes, happening? and I mean, I think what um, Beckham did for football in the US was huge. So mm -hmm. I think they're just trying to maintain that sort of momentum, marketing the game. And yeah, I mean, he, Steven Gerrard is, you know, the darling of football in, in England, England captain for a long time. So yeah, he's and a born and bred Scouser from Liverpool. So yeah, proud Liverpool. The Padlion, I think they call them. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you have it, your top search Google terms for the week. We hope you all have a great weekend, and we'll see you next Friday to talk about what you are searching on Google.